Hello and thank you for watching the CyberTuner for iPhone installation video. Congratulations on equipping your business with the most advanced tuning system on the inner planets. This video will demonstrate how to purchase and install IRCT for your first time as well as installing on additional iPhone devices. As always there's a lot of material to cover so don't hesitate to push the pause button and write something down or review a section if needed. Here's what you'll need to get started an iPhone, iPad, or iPod Touch running iOS 5.0 or later, an internet connection either by cell service or Wi-Fi, and an Apple ID. If you don't have an Apple ID or iTunes account, there are a few easy ways to get one. On a desktop computer or any internet browser, visit appleid.apple.com and follow the directions there or you can create one right on your iPhone, iPod, or iPad. You'll be given the opportunity when you attempt to download any app. Let's try that now. Find the App Store icon and tap on it. Go ahead and select an app. Just tap the button on the upper right to purchase and you'll be given the opportunity to create an Apple ID if you're not already signed into one. If you already have an ID, go ahead and tap Use Existing ID. Otherwise, tap Create New Apple ID and follow the directions on screen. If you feel you need in-person help creating an Apple ID, don't hesitate to visit the Apple Store near you. There's professionals waiting to help you there. Right now we're looking at a standard iPhone. The process is almost exactly the same on an iPad or an iPod Touch. Let's go ahead and tap the App Store icon to get started. Before jumping in headfirst with a professionally priced app purchase, it's a great idea to test drive the process with a lower priced app purchase. The process of purchasing, downloading, and transferring to other devices works exactly the same, regardless of the price. Go ahead and choose an app, purchase it, download it, delete it, install it on another device, and repeat the process until you get a feel for how the system works. Let's go back to the App Store. The first step is to find CyberTuner. Tap the search icon at the bottom bar. You can find CyberTuner on the App Store by typing in any of the relevant keywords Rayburn, CyberTuner, IRCT, etc. When you're finished typing, press Search on the lower right hand corner. For now we've typed in the word Rayburn. Now you'll see the spinner icon along with whatever other apps were tagged by your search. Tap on CyberTuner's yellow spinner icon now. We recommend you first take a moment to browse through CyberTuner's app description, specifically the section on CyberCare. It contains some useful information for caring for your CyberTuner app. At the top of the page you'll see a button with the price. Tap on that when you are ready to purchase. It will change to the words Buy App. Tap again. And enter your Apple ID password and if necessary, username. A notice that CyberTuner contains age-restricted material may appear. There is no objectionable content in CyberTuner of any kind. This is Apple's way of allowing parents to keep their 12-year-olds from purchasing professionally priced software on their accounts. Tap OK and CyberTuner will begin to download automatically. A key point here. If you have already purchased CyberTuner on the iOS, the App Store will not make you pay again. Double check that you are using the Apple ID you used to purchase CyberTuner. Let's do that now. Tap on Settings. And then scroll down to where it says Store. Tap on Store. At the bottom you'll see your Apple ID. This is the Apple ID that we downloaded CyberTuner with just a moment ago, so we know we can download it again without being charged. The button that listed the price, 
we should now say install or installed if it's already on this device. That means the download is free for you because you already own a license to run the software. Once again, as long as you're using the same Apple ID, you will only need or be able to purchase IRCT once. Apple will not let you accidentally rebuy a license to run software you've already purchased, even if it's on a different device. However, if you sign in under a different account, your wife's, your kids, etc., that could be a different story and you may end up inadvertently purchasing an additional copy. Let's demonstrate installing CyberTuner on a new device. We'll go ahead and delete our copy of CyberTuner on this device. Press Delete and CyberTuner is no longer on the device. Once again, tap on the App Store. Once again, we'll notice that the Purchase button on the upper right hand corner of the screen changes from the price to the word Install, or if we already have it on the machine, Installed. This means that the download is free for you since you already own a license to run the software. CyberTuner is now downloaded and installed on this device. That's about all there is to it. Please note that the IRCT CyberTuner license is meant to be used by a single piano tuner at a time. Although you can install CyberTuner on multiple devices that you own and control, if more than one person needs to use CyberTuner to tune pianos, then that person needs to set up their own iTunes account and purchase their own CyberTuner license. That's what you need to know to get CyberTuner installed on the iPhone platform. Be sure to press the thumbs up button and subscribe if this video helped you so you don't miss the latest CyberTuner tips.